Okay, so I had some issues when I recorded this initially, so I'm trying to go back and do a, a voiceover. So this is going to be initial printer setup on this Voron. First time I've ever done it, uh, and this is basically right after Clipper is installed. So I got the printer config file from the Spider GitHub. Step one here is basically you got to use your ID number from when you set up the Raspberry Pi, um, which is the ID number of your spider, and paste that in there. And pretty much hit the re firmware restart button every time. Um, so you got this position max, and it kind of tells you where to look, and then you're going to want to open this printer config file each time. Um, and it will show you in sections um, where you can look. And sometimes you can just do Control F and find uh, the spot that you're looking for. Um, and here at the top, it has a little info about things you need to change for your immediately for your your printer config. So I'm scrolling down here, looking for that, it looks like. Uh, part of the first things you want to change here are the, if you follow the directions there, kind of at the top, the little note section. Make sure your thermistors are set correctly first, um, and make sure that you have the correct pin numbers as well. It's very important. Uh, I had pin number wrong on my heater bed, um, so it was showing like negative 20 degrees Celsius. I couldn't figure out why, um, because I used the default config from the Voron web page, and I thought all the pins were checked, but I realized I was checking the spider one, and most of the pins were right. Um, but I used the spider GitHub diagram, um, so that pin number is going to be more accurate, and I used the version. 2.2. Um, so yeah, then I got the sensor change there um, for the heater bed, which came off the info in the bottom of the file there. It seems to be the most popular thing. Uh, then we're going to hit the restart button there. So we're still getting that same position max section. So we're going to review that config file again. And I did find it helpful just looking for those. It's pretty straightforward for the errors most of the time. Um, and you can see all these... Uh, and when it says uncomment here on the left, it's, you have to uncomment a lot of sections specific to your build. So you would have to delete the little symbol there in the front, um, that number symbol. So I have a 350 build, so we're going to delete that. And you see it changes color. I'm just going to activate it, basically, so it does read the code. Um, so that is the size for that build. And there's several spots throughout the config that you need to do this. Uh, and I think in the Z height specifically, you don't actually get the full range of the printer. It is like here, it's like 330 position max. Just because stuff will, I guess, hit the top and it has to do with the bed height variances and things like that. So just kind of review all the notes in this thing. Look for all the things like that um, that are specific to the size. Yeah. 
then we have this section and quad gantry level as well. And it's three different sizes, so we need to do this uh, bottom one here. I don't know if I remembered to do it correctly the first time or not. So we hit that save and restart button there at the top. Yeah, so I forgot to do this the first time there. That's the message, so I'm going to look for that section here again in the printer config file. And again, this is the first time that I've done it, so I thought it might be useful. Um, a friend of mine is more familiar with this stuff. Um, he was telling me to do things as far as getting the Raspberry Pi and mainsail all set up, and I had no idea what he was talking about. So that first initial time can be most people. Um, once I did it, though, I'm like, oh, okay. So we're uncommenting here. Oops. That was quick. One of the spots there for the quad gantry. But I was missing um, that specific error message says points there. Um, so we'll go back and correct that. And if I just paid attention a little bit quicker. Took a little more time doing it. But I wanted to print, you know. Uh, the control F function does work quite well to help you find the spot in the uh, files here. Yeah, and then we have gantry corners here at the bottom of the screen. And the points there that that message was talking about. We're going to uncomment those. And then these three right here, or two right there as well. And a lot of this can if you or this bomber, you can almost use it as on air. Yeah, we've got another message here and it looks like it's the coordinates there because I forgot to uncomment another portion there. So we're going to go back to that same area. And now you see, actually that has the line numbers there um, for the spot in the file you want to look at there. So I'll have to do the same thing with the gantry corners and uncomment that one line so it knows what those coordinates are for. Oh yeah, so then I got this message. was at the time, but an issue with 3 volts on the spider board, so there was no communication with uh, the spider board, that's basically what this is not ready, um, and then with a lot of help with the Discord, um, I was able to figure out in a lot of files and stuff that there was no communication, but I was like, well, I read this number out, so why is there not? And uh, the printer flipped over, so I was configuring 
all these things. Three. Um, ended up figuring out that one of my microphones was on the wrong pin. I used a PCB for the XY. Um, just it was a long build. And I brain farted. You know, I worked all day. Put it, put in the wrong pin in the connector. It's actually bringing down the 3.3 volts, so there's no check communication there. Um, so this, this double check here. That maybe not. Thanks. 